All right, let's all go into the hallway. I'll get over here, ready to go to the classroom. Okay, everybody, come on over here. Okay, everyone's getting the hang of things. So we did our quiz. We had our attendance. So make sure you checked in with Cindy, Sally, or Emma. And then check the Google Sheet for today is October 27. Make sure you have a number one there, meaning you came to class today. If you don't have a number one on 1027, then you're not here today. So please make sure that Sally, Emma, and Cindy have checked you in and they know you're here. Okay, very good. So today we should be able to move faster because we've done this how many times now? Three times. So now we know how to take our online quiz. We know how to uh, check in and check our audio with Sally, Emma, and Cindy. We know how to set up our avatar how to fix up our mics so everything's looking good and we did our video homework I hope everyone except group two which seems to have some problem so with that then we should be able to move fast today in part three which is about strategies so everybody follow me to part three strategies So far, so good. Yes. Ah, excellent. Oh, your sound is very clear. Good. Okay, we'll wait here just a minute. Everybody's catching up with us. Okay, then let's go ahead into the first room so we can begin our strategy class. Okay, the first thing we're going to do today is the vocabulary. So let me just go through the vocabulary quickly and easily here. I'm going to fly up. You can fly up with me. Okay, let's go over some of the vocabulary here for our strategy. Emma, Emma. 
Hey, what? Are you here? Yes. Nigga, what's up? Huh? 就是怎么飞起来？我忘了，就是。I'm I'm page up. Page up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can fly with page up. Okay. 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 Very good. Okay, so let's go through our vocabulary here, and all of these vocabulary are highly related to ideas of strategy in your negotiation. So let's begin with acceptable. Acceptable meaning it's okay you accept this idea or this uh, proposal. Accommodate. Now accommodate is really an important word because later it's going to be part of our strategy. So accommodate means that you give something that someone wants. It doesn't mean that you necessarily give up something, but it could mean you give up something. Anyway, you give something that the other side wants. Alternative. Alternative meaning finding another way. So you could have an alternative price, or an alternative product design, or other kinds of alternatives. Another way. Avoid. Now, avoid means that we try not to do something. So in negotiation, avoid is very related to you just don't negotiate, or maybe you negotiate but you avoid a topic. Like maybe you don't want to talk about price until later, so you avoid it. Behavior, of course, part of strategy are tactics. And in tactics, we have many behaviors. This is the way you act, how you do things. Collaborate is another kind of strategy we'll be talking about. And collaborate meaning that you actually do something together with another group or the other side that you're negotiating with. So when you collaborate, usually it means you share something. It doesn't mean half and half, though, but it does mean some. Working together, it could be you do 90% of the work and I do 10% of the work, and we still can call that collaboration. I could do 50% and you do 50%. That would also be a kind of collaboration. Compete. Now, compete is also important because it is a, also a kind of strategy, and compete means that you try to do actions, you try to act out behaviors, you try to have strategies. Where you're going to get the maximum benefit, you want to win, and you, when you win, the other side will probably have to lose. So that's competition, competing. Demand, of course, we learn about this in our economics class. Demand being that one side wants something or needs something, and in our negotiation, usually when we say demand, it means that one side. Absolutely makes it clear they must have something, so they demand it. I demand you lower your price 10%. So it's a very strong word in negotiation, meaning you insist. Emphasize is kind of like demand, but a little bit weaker. Emphasize means something is important. So I want to emphasize that price is important to me. That's different than saying I demand you give me a lower price. Demand is stronger, and emphasize just means something is important. Expensive, of course, we all know the word expensive, meaning that the price is higher than we would like to pay, higher than our goal, maybe. Haggle, haggle is a is a kind of normal word we use in English to mean negotiate. Actually, it usually means a little bit more about Just cutting something down or trying to get a better deal, usually about price. Of course, you haggle the price. So if you go shopping in the market in Beijing, you should always remember to haggle, right? So haggle meaning you always can get a lower price if you ask for it. List price is quite different, right? List price means the official price. So usually, when we have a product, when you go to the store, or when you want to buy a product from a supplier, they will have a price listed in their supply book, in their product book, in their catalog. Or when you go to the store, you see the price on the shelf. That's called the list price. The list price is not always the price you pay. 
And in fact, if you go shopping or if you shop online, sometimes they will tell you the list price is 100, but the sale price is 90. That means that the list price is the official price and you can buy it for a different price maybe. That's not the list price. Oppose. Oppose meaning to go against somebody or be on the opposite side, meaning that I oppose you. Of course, when we negotiate, this oppose is kind of normal. You have one thing you want, I have one thing I want, we oppose each other. Now, sometimes that opposition may be very strong and sometimes it may be very weak. We're going to learn more about that soon. Outcome. Now, outcome is important because it's the goal that we have in the end, right? What is the outcome? So last week we talked about making your plan, making your goals. Well, when do you measure goals? You measure them in the outcome, that is the result. So it's very important to always pay attention to the outcome. Quote, a quote. What does quote mean? It means price, basically. It's a way in international trade and negotiation we often talk about price. We say, give me a quote. We often don't say, give me a price. Because a quote can include more than just a price. It can include many other aspects such as shipping and quality and uh, amount that you want to buy, the volume, future promises. So give me a quote. So for example, I could say the price is 100. Or I could say the price is 100 and if you promise to buy 100 more, then we will lower that 20%. So that would be a quote. So a quote is not always simple. It could be complicated. Relationship. Today we're going to also talk about relationship and strategies. Relationship meaning that in the future you're going to do something with the other side again. Maybe you're going to buy from them again. Maybe you're going to sell to them again. Or maybe they're a potential customer. Or maybe they're not going to buy from you in the future, but maybe they know someone who will buy from you. So then you need to stay friends with them. You need to stay in a relationship with them. Now, relationship doesn't always mean you're friends or you have a good relationship. It just means that you have some kind of business connection that leads to more communication, maybe more business strategy. Now today's topic is of course strategy and strategy is kind of the overall plan. We often talk about strategy in business but I'm not sure we always understand what it means. It's the big plan, the overall plan. Strategy doesn't really tell you what to do or how to do it but rather it gives you a map of the overall direction you're going to take. So strategy is kind of the macro, M-A-C-R-O, macro plan, right, the macro. On the other hand, the next word, tactic, tactic is not the big plan, rather it's the small thing, it's what do you do. So tactics are the things you do, and strategy is the overall plan. So how do you enact, how do you do your strategy? You need to have tactics. So tactics are what you do in order to execute your strategy. So tactics are big, uh, tactics are small, strategy is big. Strategy is big like an umbrella, tactics are small like your behaviors. Withdraw. Withdraw means to pull out or to end the negotiation. This is a very good word because we use it often. It's a very nice way to say that you quit the negotiation, that you're going to give up. Now this usually means that you withdraw because you're not satisfied. Maybe you want something like a 10% discount and the other side is not giving you a 10% discount. So what do you do? You can withdraw from the negotiation, meaning you just walk away. Okay, so those are some great words for our class today. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next room, so follow me. Let's go over to the next room here. Over to the introduction.
everyone gather around here. Okay, everybody, we're going to do the introduction here. Okay, I'm going to cover the introduction now. And the introduction about strategy is actually quite interesting because it's so simple in a way. I think we've all learned about strategy. Maybe you've even taken a business strategy class, a class in strategy, right? It's very normal. Maybe you've even had a class about career strategy, how to plan your career, that is, how to like study and take the right classes and do the right things, get the right experience, so you can get a good job or the things that you want. That's also a kind of strategy maybe you've studied before. So I think we're all very familiar with strategy. The key today though is I want to tell you something interesting which is in negotiation strategy is actually not very hard to think about, not very hard to consider. Why is it not hard? Well, because basically we just have two questions we ask. And if we ask these two questions and then we answer the two questions we come up with our strategy. And I think that's very interesting. It's very straightforward and very simple. That doesn't mean it's easy to negotiate. No, just the opposite. Negotiation is quite difficult and challenging. However, coming up with your strategy, overall strategy that is, is not that hard. Here we have the two questions we need to ask. Question number one. Question number one is, how important is the negotiation outcome to you? When I say you, usually I don't mean you personally because you'll be working for a company, you'll be working for a business, maybe you'll be working on a team, uh, maybe you'll be working for your family, maybe you'll be doing something where you're representing someone. It's not just you, but I mean your team, you or whoever. So the question is how important is the outcome to you? Now this could be you personally, for example, let's say you have a job, you're working at a company, and your boss tells you, I want you to negotiate with company A. And your boss tells you, if you get a lower price, 10%, then I'll give you a raise. But if you don't get 10%, I'm going to fire you. Well, well, in that case, you can see that the negotiation outcome is very important to you. On the one hand, you can get a raise. On the other hand, you can get fired. So for you personally, to succeed in this negotiation or to fail has a very important outcome for you. Now, that's very nice that my boss told me so clearly. My boss was very clear. If you don't get 10%, I'm going to fire you. That's, that's good. I'm, I'm happy he told me clearly. Lots of times, people don't tell you clearly. Your boss doesn't really know what he wants. He just tells you, get the best deal you can. Well, remember from last week, what did we learn? That's not a good way to negotiate. In fact, if my boss told me, get the best deal you can, I think I would need to ask him or her. I would say, hey boss, what do you mean the best deal? Can you tell me what does that mean? Does that mean 5%, 10%, what price does that mean? 100, 90, 95? Please tell me, what do you mean the best deal? And in last week's part, we did talk about that. We had examples where we said, hey, what does that mean? What do you mean, do the best you can? Because if I don't know, then how can I answer this number one question? How important is the outcome, right? If you don't have a goal, how do I know? How important is the outcome? So certainly you must have experience like this. Let's say you go out shopping to the night market or, the, or some other market and you, and you begin to negotiate about a price. Maybe you want to buy a, um, let's say you want to buy a cup, a drinking cup, and the cup costs $100. And 
And so you begin to negotiate. And you say, I'll pay you 90. And the salesperson says, no, it must be 100. And you say, well, I'll give you 91. And you talk and he talks. And you talk for a long time and he says 98. And you say 92. And he says 98. And you say 93. And he says 97. And you're talking, talking. And, and maybe you say, oh, this is really troublesome. This takes so much of my time, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. What do you mean it's not worth it? Well, that means that I'm just going to buy a cup. The maximum price I pay is 100. Even if I succeed in negotiation, what's the lowest price I can get? Maybe 90. So how valuable is that $10 to me? And my answer may be, no, that's not valuable. I don't want to spend my time, I don't want to spend my energy, because all I'm going to get is $10. And that's not important to me. Now, that doesn't mean that $10 is not important. Maybe $10 is very important to you. But my point, I think you understand, is how important is it to you? You need to think about that, and that's question one. Now, if your boss tells you, that's very good. If your boss doesn't tell you or your team must think of it yourself, then you need to sit down and think, how important is this outcome? If it's not important, then the answer is little. If it's very important, then the answer is high, very much, or maybe somewhere in between. So that's question number one. It seems like a fairly easy question, but again, you cannot answer question one unless you think about what is your plan beforehand. What are your goals? You need your goal package, don't you? Remember last week we talked about a goal package. If you don't have a goal package, how can you think of how important is the outcome? Okay, so that ties in very closely with last week. Question number two. Question number two is, how important is it to keep a good relationship with the other side? How important is it to keep a good relationship with the other side? So what we're talking about here really is the future, isn't it? In the future, how important is the other side you're negotiating with? So let's say, for example, I go to buy my cup and I want to buy it from the sales person at the night market and maybe I think you know this person he has nothing I want except this one product and in the future I will not come back here again so I will never see him again I don't want to buy any of his other products I just want this one thing one time so then my answer to question number two how important is it to keep a good relationship my answer is zero I don't need a good relationship with this person here because I'll never see him again. On the other hand, if I go to a salesperson and he has a product I like and maybe has many products I like, maybe I will go back and buy more in the future. So in that case, the relationship could be important. Of course, I would like to get a good deal now and I'd like to get a good deal in the future. So I want to make the relationship good, don't I? So that's, you know, pretty basic. Now, what about when you're working at a company? Well, maybe your boss will tell you, this other side, the other side you're negotiating with, in the future, they're very important to us. Oh, okay, now I know, very important. Or maybe your boss will tell you, we want to do business with this company in the future again. And you say, oh, okay, now I know, the relationship is Important. Or maybe your boss tells you, we must get a good deal now, but we must also deal with them in the future. And you say, oh, okay, so relationship is important. Or maybe your boss doesn't tell you. Well, if your boss doesn't tell you, that makes it hard. Maybe you need to think with your negotiation team. In the future, will we do business with them again? And in the future, will we see them again? Will we work with them again? Okay, so that's how you answer those two questions. It's very straightforward, isn't it? Just two questions. 
how important is the negotiation outcome and how important is the relationship okay those are the two questions so I'm going to uh, try to talk to some of you for a minute beginning today we're going to do much more interaction okay so I'm going to also give you a class participation um, grade beginning today where I actually look at your participation and give you a grade and it's pretty simple I just need to ask you some question and you just answer as best as you can so let me see is Karen here I'm gonna look for Karen first Karen yes okay Karen I want to ask you a question and you can try to answer can you tell me what is the first question you asked to make your strategy <laughs> First question. What is the first question you ask to make your strategy? How important is that? How important is the outcome? Okay. How important is the negotiation outcome is right. to you or your team? <laughs> okay, okay, you're reading the book exactly. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay. Very good. Let me, uh, uh, domo arigato. Thank you. Okay. So let me, uh, move on then and ask Abby. Is Abby here? Abby? No, Abby. Abby's not answering. Okay. Let me move on to tone. T O N E, tone. Tone here. Hello, tone. No. Okay, what about Ting? Ting from group one. Ting. No, Ting. What about? Colin. Can Colin hear me? Can Colin say something? Hello, Colin. Okay, let me move on. Coney. How about Coney? Coney, hear me? Hello, Coney. Coney? Are we having a problem here? Ah, that should be Coney over there, right? Coney? I see you, but I don't hear you. Hey, Coney, are you having trouble with your audio? Let me text you here. This would be Coney. I can see your words lighting up, but I don't hear you. Let me see. Here's Paul in front of me. Paul, can you hear me? I know your mic's working. Sally, is Sally in here? Sally? That's strange because Karen was so clear, but I don't hear anybody else. Okay, well, we're going to move on to the next room. I'll do some more talking in a second here. Okay, 
Well, we'll move on to the next room and give it a little bit of a more of a test there. So let's move on to the dialogue, okay? Maybe it's my problem. So move to the dialogue room and I'll log back in and check my audio. Thank you. I want to make sure I don't have a problem. Camille, can you hear me? I'm testing if I can hear you. Seems like I can't hear some people. Okay, I'm having a little bit of a problem here, so I'm gonna... Oh, I see, it's already 10 o'clock. That's one thing. So, why don't we do this? Before we do the dialogue, let's all take a break. It's 10 o'clock already. So let's take a 10 minute break. We'll be back at 10.15 and I'll get my audio fixed up here. Okay, so 10 minute break. Everybody just sit down your avatar, take a 10 minute break, take a rest. Okay, there we go. So, I'm ready for the dialogue. Let me see, in this dialogue we have Fred and Jane talking about buying a car, right? So, why don't I get someone to help me with the dialogue? How about if we get um, Abby? Can you hear me now? Yes, I'm here. Oh, excellent. Well, somebody's microphone's open and it sounds like they're eating. So make sure your microphone's on mute, everyone. Otherwise we can hear you eating your breakfast. Make sure your microphone is mute. Everyone. Yeah, make sure your microphone's mute. Otherwise we can... We can hear you, hear everything you're doing. Oh, there we go. Ah, nice and quiet. <laughs> okay, perfect. Wonderful. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Abby with me. And Abby, we're going to read a little bit of the dialogue together. Okay, so I should fly now. Uh, you can fly up if you want to, or you can just read from your book if you can see your if you have your book with you. That's okay too. I'm going to just use my book here, and let me see. I'll be Fred, and you be Jane. How's no that problem. sound? Okay, yeah. great, great. Okay, so I'll begin. This weekend, we should go ahead and buy the new car. You mean the one we saw at the Toyota car dealer? Yes. I have the salesperson's business card here. Did you get the list price? The salesman's name is Bill. The price he is asking for is more than we can afford. We should make an offer that is 20% below the list price. I don't think Bill will like that very much. He told me the price was already the bottom line. I don't care if he likes it. Every dollar we save on the car, we can use for buying gas. This model is very popular now because it can save gas. So our gas expense will be lower than now anyway. If the car is popular, that just means it will be expensive and difficult to haggle. Okay, wonderful. Wow. Abby, you're a great reader. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it was really, really good. Okay, let me switch another person here. Tone is Tone here. Uh, she went to bath bathroom. Okay, all right. Let me grab yeah. Ting. How about Ting? Is Ting around? No. <laughs> okay, okay, that's all right. Let me grab Colin. Colin, Colin is Colin here? Yeah. Okay. okay. Why don't Why don't you read with you me, read a, little with me a little bit, but first turn your mic down a little. 
that okay? Okay, still a lot of noise. Are you using your headphone? Yeah. Okay, if you're using your headphone, I think you need to get new headphones. Okay, I'll get new one next week. Because every time I talk, I can hear myself. Anybody hear me? Sorry, I want to... No. Yep. Anybody I, hear I, me? Yep. Yes. Very clear. Very yes. clear. Yes. Okay, Colin, mm -hmm. you Colin, turn your mic turn off. Your mic off. And let me see if I can find Coney. Coney? Is Coney here? No. What about Sam? Sam? Yeah, Sam trying? Sam here? No? No Sam? Professor? Yes. Professor? Yes. You call, have you called Sarah? I did not call Sarah, but I can call Sarah. <laughs> okay, you call me now. <laughs> I'm Coney. Okay, let me call Sarah first. Sarah's very okay. anxious. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> Sarah is in group 7, right? Okay, Sarah, yeah. wonderful. So, so Sarah, volunteer. That's great. <laughs> okay, Sarah, so I'm going to be Fred and you be Jane. And let me read the sentence here. An alternative is we buy my brother's car. He told me he is going to replace his car. That's a way to meet it. Okay. okay. Okay, you mean the new the new one we saw at the Toyota Toyota car? Mm, I think you're on the wrong sentence. <laughs> you need to go. Where? Yeah, yeah. You need to go down almost to the end. And your line is, he just bought that car last year. Okay, wait. Sure. It's on page 54. So, uh, where can I see? Uh, down, down towards the bottom near the picture. Your line is, he just bought that car last year. So I'm Fry or Jane or Bill? You're Jane, I'm Fred. <laughs> Page 54. So sh what should I say? So you should say, he just bought that car last year. Oh, I got it. Okay, yay! <laughs> um, he just bought the car last year. He seemed to change cars every year. I know. He even gave me a quote already. Should I offer him 20% less? Of course not. He might get angry and he is part of my family. Yeah, that would make him upset, I think. Mm, if we pressure him on the price, he may not help us paint the house this summer. We really need his help, so I don't help him. I don't mind helping him now and pay, by paying that what he wants for the car. <laughs> That's a long one, right? This will keep us on his good side. We will do him a favor now and hope he will help us later. All right. Yay, good job. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, good. So that conversation is very basic. I think everybody can understand that. Okay, Sarah, mute your mic. I'm here. Uh, mute. Turn your mute because we can hear all the sound now from you.
Okay, Sarah, you need to press the little microphone button on the right side of the screen so you can mute your mic. Oh, she don't find you, she don't find you. Oh, I'm going to Okay. <laughs> okay. So, in this conversation, we can see that Fred and Jane are family members and they're trying to think about buying a new car. I think we all face situations like this, but the first case is buying from a salesperson and Fred thinks, hmm, I think I can get a good deal because the list price. But Jane says, no, you should go lower, 20% lower. And Jane is very clear. She thinks that the most important thing is to get a good deal now. And she feels that the relationship in the future is not important. But then when we change the situation just a little bit, that is, we're going to buy a car from a relative, well now all of a sudden things change. What changes is the relationship, because now the relationship is important. Why? Because we're going to ask for a favor. We're going to ask this person, this brother, to help us paint the house later. Painting a house is a big job. Usually it costs a lot of money. So we hope we can get a favor. So the relationship is very important. So that's a very easy to understand example. Two questions, right? How important is the outcome and how important is the relationship? Now in this case the outcome was I want to get a car that can save money on gas and I want to get a good deal now. In the case of the brother, the situation is I want to have a good relationship is more important. And the outcome now is eh, not that important. And in fact, we think that probably the car is pretty good and we can trust my brother. Okay, let's go on to a business um, negotiation. And this is on page 55. Okay, I'm going to move over here. I'm going to help, um, let me help Sarah. So Sarah, your microphone's still open. Let me help you turn it off. So Sarah, can you follow me a little bit? Walk towards me, because I don't see where you are. Sarah? Sarah is here. Okay, walk towards me, so I can see where she is. Okay. I'm going to wave. Hello. Hello, Sarah, walk towards me. Sarah's avatar walk towards me. <laughs> here, here, here. Oh, okay, I can close my voice. I see, I see. I can okay. close my voice. Yeah, weird. How come we still have so much sound, huh? Hmm. Okay, you did. Yeah, I can see. Hmm. Well, it's coming from somebody. I'm not sure who. Somebody's mic is open. I'm going to walk around and check it out. Me, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, per oh wonderful. Problem solved. <laughs> okay, that makes my talking much easier. Thank you. Okay, I think that was Colin, maybe? Good. Thank you, Colin. All right, very good. So, next we're going to cover the next conversation, which is between Fred and Bill. And this is a business example. So let me uh, go ahead and jump back up here and I'd like to get his tone back. Has tone come back already? I know tone had to go out for a minute. Not yet. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, missing in action. She went back and never came, came back again. Okay, what about Ting? Is Ting back? No, not back yet. Okay, I'm going to skip Colin because I need Colin to get another microphone to make his mic better. So it's not, not easy on that one. So what about Coney? Is Coney here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, good. Okay, Coney. So let's read this conversation together and I'll be Fred and you be Bill. Okay. Okay. 
Ah, uh, yeah, much better. Okay, yeah, much better. Okay. Why don't you turn down your microphone like about 20%? Oh, that's better. Oh, that's good. Okay. Okay, ready? I'll begin. Okay. Now that we have our goals clear, we need to decide on a strategy. Isn't the strategy always the same? Make the most profit? That is true if we only want to compete with the other side. In that case, Xeno would just accommodate our demands. So that is not the case now? I think the deal is very important for Xeno, so the negotiation team won't just give us what we want. Is there an acceptable alternative? Well, if the Xeno negotiators feel we are making more profit while they are losing money, they may avoid negotiating with us. You mean withdraw? They could do that, and we get nothing. Then they will sell to our competitors. Oh, good. Okay, good job, good job. Kony, very good. And your mic is clear now, much clearer, very good. Okay, now let me continue, but let me find another person to continue with. So what about Sam? Is Sam there? Is Sam here today? I think Sam didn't make it today, right? So what about Boris? Is Boris in the room with us today? No, no Boris? Okay, let me jump down here. What about Charlie? Charlie here? Charlie, Charlie. Hello, Charlie. No, I don't think Charlie made it either today. He's absent. Okay, Betty. How about Betty? Betty here? She should be here. She's not absent. <laughs> Betty? Hello. Hello. Betty here? Betty here. Okay, is Betty here? I think Betty was trying to get online there. Okay, one more time. I'm looking for Betty. Okay, I think I'm gonna... Oh, you ready, Betty? Betty there? Okay, well, I'm gonna move on then. Amber. Hello, Amber. Okay, Amber, Amber. Looks like she's having some trouble there. Okay, we're gonna move on. I think Veronica's absent today, so I'll skip that. Group four. Nobody here from group four? All of group four? Veronica is here. Veronica. Ah, oh, okay. Veronica. Okay. Back. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, Veronica, remember when you come in, you have to check in for attendance. Okay, so Veronica, let's do the conversation, okay? Page 56. Okay. 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 Turn down your mic about 25%. Turn down your mic sensitivity about 25%. Sorry, page 56, right? Uh, page 56, that's right. But your mic is too loud, so turn down your mic about 25%. Thank you. Okay, Veronica, you ready? Uh, is, is this okay? Still a little bit too loud. Can you go lower? Okay, try again. Um, That's better. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so we're on page 56, yes? And I'm Fred, and you be Bill, okay? So I'm going to read first. Okay. And I'm going to begin where it says right, R-I-G-H-T. You see that? Yes, yes. Okay. Right. On the other hand, if they think we can get a higher price from us, they will try to compete. Isn't that good? Competing can make it hard to cooperate in the future. We will oppose everything they want and vice versa. I think we could win. Even if we win, the Xeno people may be very angry over the negotiation. Maybe we don't need Xeno in the future. If we have a good alternative, you could be right. Now, however, Xeno is the best supplier we have. So we need to co collaborate with Xeno? Xeno. Mm -hmm. Right. We need to make sure everything we do and say in the negotiation helps support this strategy of collaboration. Avoid direct competition? Yes, avoid it. We should find ways to give the negotiators what they need, like larger orders, while getting what we want, like lower prices. This way, both sides will find the deal acceptable. Yay! Yay, good. <laughs> okay, we <laughs> succeeded. Thank okay. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright, so that was Veronica, right? Okay, put this number in there. Thank you, Veronica, good job. Okay, so in the future, beginning today and next week, I'm going to be calling on people. So everybody needs to be ready. You need to be sure your microphone works and you can talk when I call on you because this is class participation. Okay, I don't want to surprise you, but every week we're going to do this now. Okay, so um, let's uh, just quickly review this dialogue we just read. Now, this is a good example of a business negotiation. And in this case, the strategy is what they're talking about, isn't it? And what did they find out? Well, they begin with the two questions, right? How important is the outcome? And how important is the relationship? And what did we find out in this conversation? We found out the relationship is very important. We want to keep a good relationship. So let's go ahead then and move into the next room together and we'll move on in this chapter. Follow me. Okay, let's all go through the door. Professor, I'm, oh, I'm Oh, okay. Your microphone is too high. Can you turn it down about 50%? Tone, right? Mm -hmm. is, is this better? Nope, too high. Go down further. Too sensitive. Try again. Okay, Tone, you want to try again? Oh, is that Tone? That's much better. Okay, still too high. Go down about 30 more percent. Okay, we're all making progress. Okay, everybody's here, ready? 
Okay, we're going to look at the word practice now, and I want to use the word practice for some class participation too. So what I would like to do is call on you again, and I'll call on each person, and I would like you to read one of the example sentences. So I'll give you the word, and then you read one of the examples. You can pick any one you want. I think each word has three examples. You only need to read one when I call on you, okay? And if you get stuck, I'll help you, of course. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. Now, the, the goal today is I know that your English is good, but I'm trying to practice using the microphone and trying to practice, you know, getting used to talking online because soon we're going to have our negotiations and things are going to get harder, right? We need everything to work. So let me go ahead then and look here for tone. And tone, I'd like you to read one of the sentence for the word acceptable on page 57. Acceptable. Can you read one of the example sentences, please? Tone. You mean, you mean acceptable? Mm -hmm. Yes, the word is acceptable. And there's three example sentences. I would like you to read one of them. You can choose any one. Okay. This offer is not acceptable. Oh, okay. Very good job. All right. Thank so you. So that is tone. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Ting is not back yet, right? <laughs> Ting's missing in that. Ting got lost. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me ask Colin. Colin was here earlier. Colin, are you still here? Your microphone was a little bit noisy, but just for this, you can give it a try again. Colin? 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 No, Colin got lost on the way, okay. So let me jump over to Boris. Boris here? Okay, Boris is not here, and I think Sam is missing in action. What about Charlie? Charlie? Nope. What about Betty? Betty here? Oh. Hello, Betty. What's up? Um, can you hear me? Yes, in fact, yes, your microphone your is microphone too loud. Can you turn loud. your microphone turn your down, microphone down, about, down 30%? about 30%? Okay. All right, is that better? Okay, is that Betty? <laughs> Hello, Betty. Here, I'm here. Okay, your microphone's still too high. Can you go down another 30%? Then try to say something again. Okay, hey, Betty, you ready? Try to say something again. Hello, Betty. <laughs> Don't we lose Betty? That's too bad. Betty's sounding good. Betty, hello. Looking for Betty. Okay, let me uh, try Amber. Amber. Amber here. Hello, Amber. No, Amber missing. Amber. Okay, I'm going to move on then to group four. And nobody's here from group four, but let me just check quickly to be sure. So there's no Joseph or Roy or Catherine or Camille. I'm Camille. I'm here. Oh, Camille's here. Okay. Yeah. And Camille, you're, you didn't get your attendance checked. So we didn't know if you're here or not. So next time, make sure when you come in, you find one of our 
TAs like um, Emma or Sally or Cindy because they need to check you're here. Okay, so, so I have, I have to, next time I have to check my attendance. Yeah, right. Or Sally or, oh, okay, okay. Right, thank you. Okay, so Camille, can you help me then? I have word number two, which is accommodate. Accommodate. Can you read one of the example sentences for accommodate? Uh, from textbook, or I have to. From the textbook. Okay. No, no, from the textbook. Mm -hmm. Give someone what he, she wants. Agree to the other side's request. Okay, we cannot accommodate your request, right? Is that the one you yeah. just read? Okay, very good. Okay, Camille. All right, how about Flora? Flora around? Hello, Flora. Hello, Flora. Hey, Professor. Okay, you know what we can do? How about this? When you're, when you're talking, how about you raise your hand so I can see who you are? So, so Flora, can you raise your hand? Raise your avatar's hand. Professor? Professor? Yes. yes. I can hear you. Minute. Yeah, our hands are stuck. Wait, wait oh, a minute. Okay, okay, okay. Your hands stuck. We have four people here. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. Where is Grace? Oh, there you go. I see, I yeah. see, I see, I see. Oh, there you are. Success. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see you're you're wearing all black, right? Your clothes are all black. Okay. Yeah. That's very fashionable. Okay. So Flora, I'm going to read a word, and the next word is alternative. 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 Oh yeah, and we need to find more uh, alternatives. We need to find more alternatives. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. So that was Flora. How about Janice? Is Janice yes, around? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so the word for Janice is avoid. Okay, um, because we have nothing to gain, we should avoid any negotiation. Okay, we should avoid any negotiation. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay. All right, next is Celine. Okay. Are you, are you guys all using the same computer? <laughs> yeah, because we have a lot of problems. <laughs> all right, well, in the next few weeks, you need to solve your problems, you know. You need to get those fixed, okay? All right, okay. The, the next word is behavior. Behavior. It is best to not show any angry behavior. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And next is Vivian. Here, I'm here. Okay, Vivian. So the next word is collaborate. Collaborate. Let's coll collaborate on this issue. Okay, good. All right. So that's everybody in group number five. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So then let me move on. We have a couple more here before we leave this room. Let me find Paul. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The word is compete. Um, can you compete with that price? Okay, so compete on the pr uh, compete with that price. Very good. Okay. And next is Andreas, Andy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The next word is demand. Demand. Hello? Mm -hmm. huh? Okay, you go ahead and read one of the example sentences for demand. Okay. Um, first demand we have a price decrease of 12%. 12%. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bill, is Bill here? I think Bill might be missing in action, right? Okay, and what about Maggie? Maggie here? Yes, yes. Okay, Maggie said yes. it. Okay, your microphone's, okay, your microphone's a, little a little bit too loud. 
Maybe go down thirty percent. Thirty percent. Okay, you want to say and something say again? Something again? Is this okay? Yeah, too loud. Yeah, go too down fifty percent. Fifty percent. Okay, try again. Okay, try again. Um, how about this? Yeah, go down fifty percent. Fifty percent. How about this? A little bit better, go down 30%. Is this okay? Ah, there you go, that's better. Okay, the word is haggle. Haggle. I don't want to haggle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But my teammates still have some problem to log in. Okay, alright. Yeah. Okay, so this week everybody try to work on your problems, right? Okay, let's a couple more words here, so let me find Cindy. Okay, Cindy here? Yes. Okay, Cindy, the word is list price. The list price is... Okay, Cindy, we lost you and your mic was, a, was too high. Can you turn your mic down maybe 30%? Okay. 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 Still a little bit too high. Okay. Go down another thirty percent. Okay. 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 Can you raise okay. your hand, your avatar's hand? We can all see where you are. Okay. Raise your hand okay. like that. <laughs> ah, yeah. Good. 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 Okay. Good. Okay. okay. So the read the read the oh. sentence for list price. Okay, the list price is 105, but I can give you 100. Okay, good. Okay, I can give you 100. Okay, excellent. Okay. All right, next is Sally. Sally here. Hello, Sally. Sally having a problem with her microphone? She was working fine earlier. Hello, Sally. How about Emma? Is Emma, is Emma here and your mic working? Emma? Uh, yes. Okay, Emma, the word is oppose. And Emma, could you have your avatar raise her hand so we can see where you are? hand raised there, Emma. Now, of course, if your avatar is the basic... Oh, there you go. Okay, I see you. Okay, dancing. Okay, wonderful. Yay! Okay, Emma, you go ahead and read the sentence for oppose. Okay, I'm not hearing anything. You were working a second ago. Is this my problem or are you having trouble? Hmm? Problem? How about Sally? Is Sally working again? Sally? Yes, I'm here. Okay, Sally, can you read a sentence for the word oppose? any price increase. Okay, so that was Sally. Okay. Good. And one more time. Emma, is Emma working now? Or is Emma still having a problem? Oh, 
Okay, it's 11 o'clock. What we're going to do is we're going to take our last break and then we're going to cover the follow-up part of this chapter. And then we're going to end our class after the follow-up. But when the class is over, you can still stay. Okay, please remember you can still stay because after class I sit here and I answer questions. And sometimes the questions are things like the quiz answers or the exercise answers. So if you want to see the answers to the quiz or the answers to the exercises in the book, you can stay after we finish class. And I will be here and talk with anybody here about that. So let's take one more break, 10 minutes, and then we'll be back and we'll do the follow-up. Okay? Break time. Professor. Yes. Excuse me, I yes. didn't get the email for the quiz this morning. Ah, uh, you didn't get the email? Yes. Have you checked your email trash or your spam? Yes, mm -hmm. I check everything. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the, let me see, what's your email address? What's your group? I group 2. And you are... Coney? Yes. I gonna guess everybody can hear me okay. All right, let me just check quickly. Can somebody tell me? Do I sound okay? I want to make sure I'm clear because I'm going to talk for a little while now. Am I clear? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Yes. You're very clear. Perfect. Okay, what we're going to talk about now is just the follow-up. And so the first thing we want to talk about is the strategy and the tactics, right? So look on the picture here. Let me fly up and you can see. I'll fly up over here. Whoops. I'll go back over here. And you can see over here on this picture where we have the tactics underneath the strategy. That's a great little picture. It's a great way to understand what are tactics and what is strategy. Because the strategy is the overall on top. And the strategy is made up of lots of little tactics. Now, today's chapter is we're talking about the strategy, not the tactics. Later, we're going to talk about the tactics, exactly how to do things, exactly what to say. But today we're going to stick with the strategy. So that's the first idea. Strategy is made up of tactics. The second idea is what we talked about earlier, those two questions. And that's really summarized quite good in this picture here. So here we can see quite clearly we have two arrows. And those arrows are the two axes for this two questions. So the one question is, how important is the relationship? Very important, not important. And the second question is, how important is the outcome? Not important, very important. So you ask these two questions. And by asking these two questions, you can determine what is your strategy. And this is the beautiful part of it. Four basic strategies right here. So our four basic strategies are accommodation, collaboration, avoidance, and competition. So let's look at these one by one just very quickly. If the relationship is not important and the outcome is not important, then your strategy should be avoidance. Avoidance means you don't need to negotiate. You can avoid negotiation. You can tell the other side that you're going to walk away. You're going to avoid it. You're going to withdraw. This means if you don't get what you want, you just say, I don't want to negotiate. That's avoidance. So it's not important and it's not a relationship you need to worry about avoidance. On the other hand, opposite of avoidance, is collaboration. Collaboration is the relationship is very important and the outcome is very important. So 
So both questions answers are very important. Thus you collaborate. Now what is the collaboration strategy? The collaboration strategy is you try to help the other side get what they want and you try to get what you want. That is both sides get something that they want. They may not get 100%. We'll talk about that again next week and next next week. But you try to make sure the other side gets something they want and you get something you want. Maybe you can get everything you want and they can get everything they want. That might be possible or at least something like that. You get something and they get something. Okay, let's look at the other way, which would be something like accommodation. Accommodation would be the strategy if the relationship is important, very important relationship, but the outcome is not important. Why would this happen? What kind of situation is this? Well, maybe I need you in the future. I need you to buy something from me. I need this relationship in the future. But right now, this one case, this negotiation now today is not very important. The outcome is not important to me. So, what does that mean? I give you what you want. I give you what you want so that you can be happy and in the future we can have a good relationship. You'll treat me well, you'll remember me. That's called accommodation. You give the other side what they want. You don't worry about what you have. You don't worry about what you get in the outcome. You don't worry about your goal package so much. On the other hand, opposite of that is competition. Competition is the relationship is not important, but the outcome is very important. So I don't need you in the future, but I do need this deal now. Maybe my boss will fire me if I don't get this deal now. It's very important to me. Or maybe my company will go bankrupt and have to close if I don't get this deal now. So this deal now is super important, but in the future, that future is not important. Or maybe there's not going to be a future if my company is going to close. I have no future at all, so I don't worry about the future. I just worry about now. And that strategy is called competition. So competition means you fight for everything you can get now. You fight for everything you can get at this moment for this one deal. And you don't worry if the other side is going to be upset. You don't worry if the other side is going to be angry. You don't care. I mean, maybe you care, but it doesn't matter because your company needs this now. So these are the four basic strategies. It's important that first you have a goal package, right? You know your goals. Then you begin to think, how do I answer these two questions? How important is the relationship in the future? And how important is the outcome now that I need? And then you come up with your strategy. It could be accommodation. It could be collaboration. It could be avoidance. It could be competition. Can there be other strategies? The answer is no. Basically these are the four overall strategies. Now how you do it and the details can differ. Every situation is different and maybe special. But these are the four big strategies to choose from. So in the future when we have our negotiation simulation you need to sit down with your group and you need to think which strategy are we going to do? Now, why are strategies important? Well, one of the main reasons the strategy is important is everyone on your team knows what is the strategy. Because if everybody on the team is doing something different, if everybody on the team is trying to do something opposite, maybe you want to accommodate, but somebody else on your team wants to compete, well, that's going to be troublesome because you're going to be saying and doing opposite things. Maybe you're trying to accommodate, but somebody else on your team is trying to have avoidance. That, that doesn't make sense. So the reason that we think of the strategy is that it helps our team unify everyone following the same strategy. Now, of course, things can change, right? Strategies can change. For example, if I'm negotiating with another company and maybe I'm trying to 
compete. I'm trying to use competition strategy because I think the outcome is very important right now and the relationship is not so important, so I'm using competition. But then maybe the other company tells me, they say, you know, we have a new product coming out in six months and if you work with us now, we promise you in six months we'll give you the first shipment. So in six months, we'll give you the first shipment. And I think, hey, that's interesting. That means that all of the sudden, we have a future relationship. Now they promised me something about the future I didn't know. Something special, something that's important to me in the future. So now I think, hey, I can change my strategy. Instead of competition, maybe I need to move to collaboration or maybe I need to move to another strategy probably collaboration because the outcome is still important but now the relationship is important so these strategies can change as you learn more information but it's very important that everybody on your team knows what is your strategy and you begin your negotiation with a strategy in mind you don't want to begin your negotiation you just trying to get the best price that's not good enough Okay, now when we play our game, this actually is very important. Because in our game, we can measure things like how important is it to you. In fact, in our negotiation role-playing game, there's actually a number, 1 to 10, that says how important is this to you. It tells you this is very important or this is not so important. So it's very clear. Also, relationship. Who is your relationship with? Well, in our RPG game, your relationship is with all of the other teams inside of our class. We have seven teams, seven groups. So you need to negotiate with six different groups. Your group is one group, but there's six other groups. And you're not going to negotiate just one time. You're going to negotiate many times. So you're going to have a relationship. Now, can you have a relationship with a group over time so that maybe you work together or you co collaborate or you cooperate or you help each other that's a relationship so in our game the relationship is there you can actually use it you can actually see it you can actually measure it and also the importance is part of our game you can measure it so please keep this in mind two questions to make your strategy Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're going to uh, stop here. We have other parts, of course, that you can do, but we're running out of time. I want you to do the exercises in the books, of course. I'm going to stay here for now, and I'm going to answer questions if you have questions. And if you don't have questions, you can just uh, leave. If you do have questions, stay. I also can cover the quiz questions today and exercise answers if you have any desire to know the exercise answers okay so we're gonna wrap it up this week again same as last week you're gonna have to do your video assignment and that'll be for the vocabulary of part four and then you're going to uh, get ready for class next week by reading the book and watching my video lecture on YouTube and hopefully do some of the exercises in the book it's becoming more and more important that you practice using your computer, you practice using the simulation, the open wonderland, so that it becomes smooth for you. If your computer still has a problem, you really need to try to solve your problems soon because every week I'm counting on you to get better and better to make things work smoothly, right? Smoothly. Okay, so I'm going to say goodbye then. I'm going to wait here for a few minutes. I'm also going to meet with uh, Cindy, Sally, and Emma. So don't run away too fast, Cindy, Sally, and Emma. And if you have questions, stay. And if you don't have questions, you can go ahead and go. So I'm going to drop down here. Whoa, there I go. Okay, so I'm going to wave goodbye. Say goodbye to everybody. Bye have, bye. A, have a good week. Bye. 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 Excellent. Bye bye. Hey.